in recovery plan in Southeast Asia 2021. So for your kind information, uh, today's meeting will be chaired by Dr. Osman. So without further delay, I would like to hand over the meeting room to Dr. Osman. So please be welcome. Okay, Assalamualaikum and a very good afternoon to everyone, professors, uh, all the directors, uh, 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 deputy vice chancellors and so on. Uh, actually, today uh, <clears throat> I'm the moderator for this meeting. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's important for us today for to discuss about what actually the our planning to run the what's so called the international. Uh, our COVID-19, uh, you know, the recover, uh, recovery plan for in uh, South uh, South East Asia. Uh, okay, the main objective for this meeting, the main objective for this meeting is to, uh, of course, to welcome all the university scientists, uh, scientific committee, and uh, the second is actually the objective for this meeting is. Uh, to introduce the, our activities, to discuss about activities and program together in ITTP COVID-19. Uh, also the introduction of the scientific committees members from each universities. And also we hope that we can uh, uh, also call the, to, to strengthen our platform as a virtual platform for ITTP COVID-19 communication. Okay, that is actually the overall objective for, for, for this meeting today. Uh, actually, uh, maybe the Prof. Ico, uh, will also join us to discuss further on what actually the this meeting is about. Uh, next, uh, actually, uh, before before we continue with this uh, what's called uh, meeting, I think this is actually all the agenda that uh, we really hope that we complete around 16, around four o'clock, something like that here in Malaysia, Malaysia times. Uh, but uh, I think so after this is a this presentation from the Dr. Cortis, uh, Professor Dr. Cortis uh, Doratis from Executive Director of the Asian University Network, okay, UN. Uh, for the introduction of the Asian University Network representative. Uh, maybe not as a further news, uh, I will come, uh, Professor Dr. Cortis, to uh, have a presentation. Thanks. Thank you very much, Prof. Othman. Um, uh, thank you so much for having me uh, here today. It's good to be back among the uh, a lot of you are old friends <laughs> and, and uh, good to be back among the, the member universities of the AUN. Um, I'm very pleased and delighted to, to hear what, what you are planning to do. And, and uh, maybe, maybe we can uh, assist you from from the Secretariat of, of the AUN. I, uh, 15 minutes ago, I just finished another two days meeting with the, the ministries of education in, in the ASEAN and ASEAN plus three universities. Ah, uh, no, uh, ASEAN plus three countries. Uh, missing only China. Um, we, we discuss the, the immediate uh, strategies and action plan in order to push forward the, the implementation of the new, new mode of learning during this pandemic uh, period. It will focus on how our universities uh, can, can join with the, the ministries in all 13 countries uh, to do the a kind of online uh, exchange program for our students. So it, it's good for me to, to change back to, to be among all the scientific committees after the, 
the ministerial level and the student matters. Now, I, I'd like to hear what, what you plan to do among your academic community. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks, uh, Dr. Soltis, uh, for the brief introductions on what is the AUN. Uh, or maybe you want, you want to continue, uh, Prof? Uh, ah, yes. Uh, the, we are all, we, are, we, we already know who we are. <laughs> we are among the, the members, yes. I, I don't see any other non-member non here. So uh, 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 welcome all, everyone again. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, thanks, Prof. Thanks. Uh, I think it's a very brief, uh, uh, what's called introduction on the Asian Misty uh, Networks, which is for us, uh, this is a very important uh, platform for everyone to uh, discuss, uh, to have a, you know, to have a platform to discuss uh, certain issues and to come up with a certain, uh, what's called the, the very good outcome for the, <clears throat> For, for for our uh, for our to fulfill for our objective and research together and so on and everything. Uh, by having said that, uh, maybe after this, uh, Prof. Iko, uh, you know, uh, Prof. Dr. Iko Suprianto, uh, he want to present uh, about the uh, the uh, ITTP COVID nineteen uh, from uh, his perspective. Uh, maybe uh, Prof. Iko, I pass it to you, Prof. Iko. Okay, yes, uh, good afternoon, or very good afternoon, everyone. Okay, thank you, okay, Dr. Osman, and also, okay, yeah, uh, <clears throat> others, okay, professors and doctors that are okay, attending this meeting. Okay, let me uh, share my screen. Okay, um, Dr. Osman, can you see my screen already? Yes, of course. All right. Maybe after this, uh, if someone to want to uh, interrupt or want to discuss uh, during your presentation, is it okay, Prof? Uh, as long as that is up to you. Okay. Uh, basically, it's okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Carry on, Prof. Yeah. Uh, I need maybe to have 20 minutes. Hopefully, okay, enough time. Yeah. So just very short, basically. Just intro a little bit. <clears throat> and then I will okay, introduce one more, the committee, because the structure is also quite big. And then, okay, I will okay bring the minute of steering committee meeting that we did, okay, on the second December 2020, and then we will introduce you. case situations if it's really okay late yeah if really late then okay we still have problem the peak even okay until the next year, year still have uh, the possibility for the peak of the okay pandemic and then by end will be okay yeah 2023 and above so this is the condition it means okay um yeah uh, we hope that we can uh, yeah soon uh, exit from this condition so one of the thing that we discussed before actually also the effect to our countries, to ASEAN countries especially, yeah, yeah, okay, in terms of tourism itself, okay, ASEAN GDP lost around USD 30 billion, basically. This is basically a lot of money. And here, the highest uh, effect uh, to the Thailand, but also other countries also are affected. But also, okay, the effect of this COVID to the environment, yeah, is, okay, producing less CO2, basically, because of the less carbon and so on yeah so this is a good impact but there are things that okay we need to okay consider okay due to this condition okay on the 14 april 2020 our leaders yeah the prime minister the presidents yeah of the country okay having meeting okay to have the asean summit on how to handle how to manage okay this corona diseases and then by 12 November 2020, just okay, a few months ago, yeah, we, the ASEAN issue, the ASEAN Comprehensive Recovery Framework, which have, okay, five broad strategy. The first strategy is enhancing the health system, strengthening the human security, maximizing the potential intra-ASEAN market and broader economic integration, 
accelerating the inclusive okay digital transportation and advancing okay towards a more sustainable and resilient future okay this is okay from the 12th november i know i think okay the team is okay um try to implement this one we have the implementation plan and okay um, we try to support it so still some remaining issue okay to this COVID. this is just for example in the health for example we don't have the evidence of the heart immunity due to the vaccine is it really or actually based on the current efficacy of vaccine is really able to yeah uh, make the health immunity in uh, according to our plan second implementation of the health protocol still question mark do we still need to use until the next okay five years 10 years or 20 years the next one okay the healthcare capacity and then we know the implementation of telemedicine is very slow okay um, this is also something that also issue that okay um, <coughs> highlighted in the recovery plan health telemedicine and then in the social managing the migrant worker okay do we need to give a visa for them or not actually to okay bring back to the country origin and then okay impact of the five years e-learning or learning from home sorry learning from home for the next generations if we have COVID pandemic for five years okay from last year until another five years and then what is the effect of the next generations okay this is the social sign we need to study on that and then also business impact what are the effect of the very limited traveling due to this COVID also and then still need to be discussed what is the requirement for the cross-country tourism and then for the technology, now we have the uh, massive digital activity. Every day, I think we all okay use the digital platform to conduct some meeting. How is about the security? This is still also something that we need to okay discuss and also okay research in the technology field. And then okay, low cost rapid scanning. How to make the rapid scanning is faster and cheaper. So because I think for the next uh, few years we still need to have this, and also come to the okay green energy transitions we plan. Okay, in the technology side, okay, we plan to have until 2050, we want to have, if possible, almost zero um, <coughs> carbon CO2 exposure for the green, for the energy. So this is some, okay, issue that, okay, remain We uh, all the, okay, yeah, uh, people need to think about this, yeah. And then, okay, due to the coffee also, we found more than 500 related research in Southeast Asia. So it's good for us if we can okay share, exchange the information, the idea, so that whatever that we did, okay, we can use together. This is basically the basic idea. In Malaysia, we have okay, also a lot of grant related to the COVID-19 research. In Indonesia, we found also the Ministry of Science and Technology also okay, yeah, <clears throat> provide research grant for the research. I mean for the COVID. Singapore also, Philippines, Vietnam, maybe I can okay, say all, but I think most of the other country, okay, providing the grant for this. And then even okay, other non-ASEAN country, EU also provide for us, IDB, ADB, and so on. So it means we did already research. Yeah. And then we will try okay, to share the finding at recommend and recommendations at our activity. Basically, this is okay, the first goal that we will achieve. And still, okay, we need to conduct some research and discussions to support or evaluate the implementation of the ASEAN recovery framework. Okay, we have the university and industry research, we have the university industry innovation, we have country experience in the handling of the COVID, and then we have framework. Okay, we hope that, okay, using this platform, the ITTP COVID, okay, we can have something that is, okay, good for all. Okay, that's why, okay, we have last time in July last year, yeah. In July last year, our, I mean, okay, um, the ASEAN Secretariat in Jakarta meeting with uh, some of us, okay, to discuss about the establishment of this international teleconference on technology and policy for supporting implementation of COVID-19 recovery plan in Southeast Asia. There are three objectives of this conference. First is to share the research finding related to both technology and policies. Second is to enable the collaboration among Asian researchers. No, using this platform, we try, okay, to close each other so that, okay, yeah, we have the very good platform, okay, for the implementation of ASEAN recovery framework. 
And then the third one is to formulate recommendations okay, through our discussions for ASEAN communities in accelerating process for recovery okay, toward SDG 2030. We still okay, need to achieve this. Yeah. So from the latest okay, discussion, divided our group into three okay, in the most scientific uh, field. One is the health science, okay, including here is the public health, medicine, healthcare management, sport, environment, and okay, apologize if other okay, um, health related is not put it here, but we also consider other topics related to the health sciences. Second is the social sciences. We have the education, humanities, economic, business and marketing, culture, tourism, and also okay, other topics related to the social science. And also in the engineering and natural science, we have electrical, mechanical, biomedical, civil, chemical, and also other engineering field. But we consider also computing, IT, physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics, and okay, other natural science okay, field. This is three groups that okay, we have. Yeah, we will okay, have discussion okay, today. This is basically the yeah, very short okay, um, history of the establishment of the committee. On the 3rd July, basically, is the first meeting attending by the representative of the ASEAN Secretariat, okay, Dr. Aladin, okay, the Deputy Secretary General. And then we have the okay, um, yeah, uh, representative from the Indonesia Presidential Office. We have the okay, University of Indonesia representative. And then we have from University of Technology Malaysia. And then we have one Indonesian association. And to establish the joint committee okay, that combined from government, NGO, university, and industry, how to manage okay, and this uh, conference so that okay, the conference have okay, high impact to the community in ASEAN. And then in the 2nd December, we have the ASEAN university leaders where the rector, president, vice chancellor, or okay, the representatives of university okay, meet the first time okay, to establish the okay, steering committee. And today okay, is the first uh, scientific committee, but in between we did also meet with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, we did a meet with the AUN, with the industry and universities. Yeah. So we have okay, four level of okay, um, committee. Actually, I don't okay say level, but okay, we have okay four group of committee. Okay, first is the advisory board where okay the country leaders, ministry, and ASEAN's okay um, secretariat okay join in this advisory board. And then we have the steering committee where the university leaders, government body leaders, NGO university leaders, industry leaders, NGO leaders okay are working together in this committee. And then today, okay, we focus on the scientific committee. We were uh, professors, senior lecturers, senior researchers, or someone that advanced in the scientific okay, field, okay, join in this okay, meeting. And then, okay, we have also established, okay, the organizing committee. We uh, still establishing. We did already, okay, few universities join for the organizing committee, but we want to have more and more. Okay, maybe after this, we will have the next meeting for the organizing committee. Okay, this is the steering committee. We have okay, um, yeah, uh, 27 universities, yeah, according to my record here, uh, from all the country in ASEAN, yeah, from the 10 country in ASEAN, yeah, from Brunei until Vietnam. And then for the okay, scientific committee, yeah, currently we have okay, more than 100, I think 112. Yeah, we have okay, uh, 59 from the health science, where University of Indonesia is the most. And then, okay, social science, okay, um, 34, okay, members where the Yangon University of Economy is the most. And then, okay, um, we have, okay, um, technology related where the unit technology is most, okay, members here. But we still encourage or, okay, yeah, uh, invite others to, okay, join, okay, with, okay, scientific committee. Okay, this is, okay, the list. I will not go through later. We will see. Yeah, we have 120, basically. So basically the role of the scientific committee, yeah, just to explain, the member have role to yeah, uh, conduct or coordinate research and development at the university level. Okay, it means you have the research, okay, we would like also to have from you, okay, to get your view, okay, to discuss in this uh, meeting. The conference is only the end of this meeting by August, but this is basically is not uh, only the one activity that we have. Okay, we have like, okay, before uh, every month we need to have like meeting and then we have also the forum and also, okay, we can conduct also some meeting and so on. Okay, uh, along the way until uh, August, we try to have some meeting. Even, okay, in our discussion, we also consider that uh, 6 to 8 August is not the end of the conference. We might have, okay, the conference also next year because 
if as long as the COVID recovery plan is still uh, not really implemented okay yet and success, we try also to okay, um, monitor and also to uh, work together with them. And then, okay, second, yeah, okay, we have also idea to have the innovation competitions. Okay, the scientific committee also become the part of the panel for the judge. And then, okay, to involve, this is the most important is to, okay, conduct the paper review. But we hope, okay, we really encourage, yeah, uh, yeah, request to all scientific committee here, please also provide time, one, two hours, okay, to uh, give review for the papers. Because, okay, the deadline is always two weeks after. Okay, the paper submitted. Yeah. And then attending the scientific committee meeting as today. And then, okay, you can propose also some scientific solutions. If no, okay, we try also to have a very good proposal to be submitted, okay, for the funding, basically, um, for the research grant, basically. And then, okay, um, to submit papers and participate. Yeah, uh, we, we, we encourage also, hopefully, from this 120, okay, um, participant, you all, okay, have research or paper related to the uh, to the COVID okay nineteen or post recovery plan. So okay, yeah, we invite also for all here. We call you okay to submit a paper and participate in this identity COVID. And then okay, participate in innovation competition. This is an optional. Okay, we will have okay meeting okay other meeting for this purpose. And now um, since we have big group okay for scientific, so that we divided our scientific group into three group. One is the health science, second is the engineering and natural science related, and then the third one is the social science. So, okay, from this, okay, we try to have the okay chairman, yeah, um, is to coordinate. Actually, the task is just to coordinate, okay, the group member so that we have the discussion, okay, to okay communicate and so on. So the group of late leader is to lead the group committee member to communicate okay, with the okay, secretariat and then to manage the journal and proceeding publication and to lead the best paper selection for award. Yeah. Okay, this is the role of the scientific committee. So now I'm going to the okay, minute of the last meeting. I just go very fast. Okay, basically last time we have meeting with the leaders, uh, university leaders. Yeah. Uh, I think this one, it was okay, the agenda. Yeah, um, the meeting is introduced by Dr. Agustin, and then okay, we have Dr. Julia from the ASEAN Integration Monitoring, and then okay, um, we, the meeting also the, we have the keynote speaker from the Chief of the Staff of President of Republic Indonesia, uh, General Okay Muldoko, and then okay, we have also I present also at that time the program, and then okay, we also listen okay from the ASEAN University leaders okay to listen okay from okay the research that they have. And then we have done also some discussion that produce okay this five uh, agreement. The first is to appoint yeah I mean to become the steering committee from university that uh, yeah agree, and then to appoint the representative of the scientific committee. It means okay yeah uh, today I think is the result of this first proposal we appointed I mean okay university appoint the scientific committee. So and then okay, this is steering and scientific committee uh, role and responsibility. I will not repeat. And then okay, we agree also to have the agreement on the mutual understanding. Okay, and this is okay later case by case. Yeah. And then third one okay for the innovation competition. Yeah, we will conduct also. And then this is okay the agreement on the following uh, proposed activities. Yeah. Today basically is the scientific committee that um, yeah according to the plan. And then, okay, we will have the next, the ASEAN leaders, I mean the ministry or the prime minister level meeting and also industrial meeting to inform whatever. We will, okay, try to find the best time between January and May. Okay, maybe a few times. And then call for paper. Okay, we will issue call for paper. Uh, I think starting tomorrow, yeah. Uh, if you or we are agree to have it and then we will issue call for paper. And then we open until May 2021. And then for call for competitions, I think we start us on this month until May. And then here we uh, agree to have after two week, two week after submissions. Yeah, yeah. This is basically the paper acceptance until one month before the conference. It means six of July. And then okay, the notification of the short listed product. Yeah, to be announced. So and then in the current conference we have the paper presentations six to eight August. Product presentation for inventors, 7 August. 
And then, okay, the we will have the meeting for the ASEAN resolution finalization on the 6th August, and then okay, award ceremony on the 8th August. And we do hope that every two weeks and one month we have the scientific committee meeting. And the proposal five is related to topics we have okay, and these uh, topics, yeah, but not limited to according to the result last time. So this is the call for paper. Sorry, too small, but I already highlight here. The important date here is 6 to 8 August 2021. Yeah, please, okay, uh, remember, okay, and this time we hope that all the scientific committee can attend this, okay, meeting. Yeah, please book your time starting now. And then, okay, paper submission is 6 February. It means tomorrow until 6 June. And then, okay, paper acceptance is two weeks after submission. The registration is 6 June to 6 July. We have three conference tracks. And then we have, okay, uh, best paper award for three, I mean, okay, uh, each uh, track, we have three awards. It means, okay, we have uh, nine awards, okay, for this conference. We will give, okay, special prize, yeah, from the sponsor and so on. And then from the keynote speaker, yeah, uh, yeah, we will invite the ASEAN Secretary General and country leaders, okay, to become the keynote speaker of this. And then publications, okay, we do hope also, okay, please also give our uh, in input, okay, uh, whatever journal or proceeding that index by Scopus, okay, to uh, to or become platform for publication of okay in this conference, okay, we got the agreement like okay, public health journal or Kesmas, University of Indonesia, the EMBS IEEE proceeding, yeah, IEEE index journal proceeding also, <clears throat> and then okay, uh, journal of technology. And then Journal of Population and uh, Social Study, okay, we are under, okay, discussion currently. So, okay, this is some publication that, okay, we have, but, okay, we hope that more and more uh, public interact. And this, we say that, okay, this committee organized by all universities that involved, okay, in this uh, meeting, basically. So, and then, okay, the last but not least, okay, uh, we have currently set up the virtual platform. We have both a website and mobile apps. Yeah, the mobile apps ready. Only okay, we need to get approval from the okay Play Stores. Yeah, we already okay a few days submitted there because if okay there is wood COVID, actually we have okay problem with the submission. All right, thank you. <laughs> okay, we will okay um yeah uh, we do hope that on Monday you can already download okay from Play Stores and this basically our okay media okay to get some okay uh, news information. Okay, actual and also real time. And then you can use this also, okay, for your communication. We have the group communication uh, between the steering committee, between scientific committee and organization committee. And then we have forum forum also. This is like, okay, WhatsApp, but it's more focused on the conference. So that, okay, we have a stable platform and very good platform. And then, okay, and the paper submission can be, okay, done, okay, using this, okay, website, but, okay, need to enter this mobile app. Mean, okay, we will get the, uh, log in a password okay from this mobile app to enter this okay website basically so okay we will okay explain okay later maybe okay next week okay to have okay in this uh, uh virtual platform so this is okay our okay web platform the createasean.net we have the call for paper here all your name you put it here and then we have program we have the important dates and some policies from ASEAN we will just put here so okay, this is basically the okay um, the ITP COVID okay uh, web I mean the mobile apps that we have we have here three conference competition and project project proposal basically okay we try also to implement okay using this and here you can up, uh, update I mean yeah update your profile and so on and we have also some okay communication platform here okay if you want to chat if you want to okay give some okay um, yeah uh, idea yeah and so on you want to ask something okay you can use okay this. And then some notification if there is okay, yeah, from secretariat, okay, news and so on. This is the platform. So you can okay start to register, yeah, okay, later. Basically, the committee will communicate with you through email, okay, to uh, yeah, if you have any okay problem with this, yeah. So this is the conference, the call for paper, and okay, so on, yeah, to submit your paper, and okay, yeah. So this is okay in the website, you can okay see also okay, and this okay, later. So yeah, I think okay. My time is already running. I might be okay. Uh, yeah, above this, uh, I just okay. Thank say thank you, and then I give uh, the this meeting back to the moderator. Okay, please moderator to take. Okay, oh. my.
Okay, Prof. Thank Prof. Iko. Thank you so much. Very interesting presentation indeed. Okay, maybe uh, can I open for any Q and A from our friends? Uh, I think I give the around the 10 to 20 minutes. Is there any question? Uh, may I from Universitas Erlangga? Okay. Yes, please, Prof. Please. Okay. Uh, thank you, uh, Professor Eko, for your uh, very nice uh, presentation, uh, introducing of the ITTP and also the, uh, the next program. So uh, if you uh, don't mind, uh, we would like to uh, like uh, propose uh, regarding to like matching fund maybe for the research. Is it possible among the ITTP members to have a collaboration on research by like a matching fund? Uh, among the university from like uh, Erlangga and university from maybe uh, Malaysia or Vietnam or any other uh, ITTP member. Thank you. That is uh, uh, my uh, suggestion or my, <laughs> uh, yeah, my suggestion. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Good, good yes. suggestion, Prof. Good suggestion. Uh, yeah. Prof, you, you want to answer? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Thanks, uh, Prof. Uh, Kenyoman. Yeah. yeah. Basically, this is okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, that we have discussed. Okay. A few times. Okay. You are right. Okay. Uh, but if you have an idea, okay, please welcome. We will uh, okay, try to okay, discuss uh, yeah, among us. And then, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. We will see. Okay. The possibility to this. Okay. Um, uh, funding. Okay. Possibility. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, what we plan actually, okay, in the last discussion, Okay, first, okay, we will try to communicate with the industry. This is okay first. Mm. And then, okay. okay, second, okay, we will also communicate, okay, with the okay, government from each uh, country, okay, to mm. enable the funding from the ministry, okay, for this activity is not only, okay, the conference, yeah, but also, okay, the project proposal. Okay, we do hope that um, the project proposal, I mean, okay, all the university that become member of this scientific committee can propose a project proposal and then the ASEAN Secretariat or the Ministry of Higher Education on Science Technology okay, will conduct the okay, selection. Okay, mm -hmm. so that okay, this yeah. can be yeah. okay, yeah, uh, I mean, used as funding for, I don't know, but I think it's not immediate, maybe at least okay, six months from now. At least okay, it means will be known, for mm -hmm. example, okay, during the uh, conference. Okay, this might be okay, one of uh, the yeah, potential funding that we have. So, okay, I think so. Okay, Prof. Nyaman, hopefully answering okay, your question. Yeah, yeah thank you. Okay, thanks, Prof. Okay, thanks. <laughs> thank you. Any, any from others? I've got a quick question from uh, Yong from University of Malaya. Sorry, I've, I've got a problem with my camera. Um, okay, Prof. Yong, okay, carry on. Okay. Um, do they need to pay to present? Okay. So, uh, we don't know exactly. Uh, so, no, basically, okay, and this activity is funded voluntary by us only. It means, yeah, okay, everyone that, okay, have Zoom, I just, okay, like, okay, Buru, and then, okay, uh, some student working with us together, so that no need to pay, and so on. But, okay, we will uh, propose, uh, yeah, like proposal to get the funding for the uh, organizing committee, basically. Uh, but if we have, okay, if no, then worst case situation, so it's no problem to have. Only if we come to the like journal, okay, this is something that, okay, we will okay, discuss with the journal publisher. If, okay, free, then it's free. But, okay, if they need to uh, yeah, have some payment, then maybe it's still, okay, under discussion whether we need to pay or not. But we try to minimize, okay, as small as possible. Because, yeah, as, okay, we see, no, I think funding is not a matter in this time. Except if we conduct the uh, conferences uh, like off-site, I mean, we need to go somewhere, then yes, okay, maybe funding required. But as long as online, then is I think it's very yeah, low uh, funding, basically. So, Prof. Yong. Uh, next question, sorry. Um, uh, is it open to postgraduate to present their work? Um, is Yes, depend on the scientific committee, basically. Yeah, up to you all. Okay. Um, hmm. Because as long as, okay, they're able to pass the criteria that, okay, we give, then it should be okay. Yeah. I think it's no problem. As long as, okay, pass the criteria. Uh, we, yeah, I mean, post-creators can, um, yeah, present or others. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, is there a meeting? Yes, come on, carry on. Who's there? Hello? Is Any? 
Hello, yes. Sarima? Yes, bro. Yes, bro. Sarima, carry on. Yes, uh, I have um, uh, two questions. Uh, one is, um, yes. I would assume that this conference will be 100% online. Um, and... Okay. Can I answer no? Hello? Bro, yes. Rico, give, 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 question, give, 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 yeah, one question. Yeah, question. Okay, since the issue was raised about postgraduate students, maybe we can have a special track uh, for postgraduate students that will be, you know, one way to do it. Like we can have a special, you know, track or a special session for postgraduate students to present the papers. And of course, uh, with uh, approval from the committee. Okay. Maybe, okay, um, so Dr. Osman, can I answer the question already? Yes, 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 Prof. Oh, okay. Please. So, yeah, um, according to our title, basically, okay, we will conduct, okay, teleconference. It means 100%, okay, uh, online. Uh, however, okay, uh, we still consider if really pandemic COVID can uh, end. I mean, okay, uh, yeah, we don't need to have... Okay, I mean, uh, we can do some gathering and so on. Then on site is okay. So one option that okay, last time we discussed also. But still, no. Uh, until now, we consider this is teleconference. It's okay, very small uh, possibility or chance okay to have the okay on site conference. And then second, it's also a good idea to have a special track. Okay, but we will okay give uh, this yeah authority to the uh, chairman of the scientific committee. Okay, to okay manage or to consider this one. I think okay for me is all right, but okay we need to okay ask okay uh, yeah the other committee also. This is uh, from my answer. Okay, Doctor Osman, please. Okay, thanks, Prof. I think uh, I received now the you know message from the admin. Now we have uh, you know we are running time now. I think uh, can we move on? Yes, yes. Okay, please welcome. Uh, can I just ask one more question? Oh, okay. Is it possible? Yes, yes. Last question, please, Prof. Okay, Prof. Samila from UPM, okay. isn't it? Samsila, yes. Samsila from UPM. Oh, yes, Samsila, yes, Prof. Yes, Prof. Yes, yes. This is last question, yeah. I just want to ask about the innovation competition. Uh, it was not really discussed. Uh, is it on? Uh, yes. The innovation competition. Okay. No, we are set upping the criteria and the committee. Okay. Um, we will invite you. I think. Okay. That interested to become the judge of. Okay. This. Yeah, okay, to have this innovation competitions. Uh, it's on, okay. yeah, it's on, yeah, it's, it's on. on the way, okay. yeah. Thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you, Prof. Welcome. All right, I think it's, uh, it's good, Prof, if uh, Proiko, if, if yeah. possible, you can share the presentation to all the members, yeah, after mm -hmm. this. I, yes, yes, okay, we will put, okay, the presentation in our website later, yeah. Oh, fantastic, because fantastic. It's quite, quite big. Okay, no. uh, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Thanks, Prof. Thanks. Okay, for our next uh, agenda is actually is on the introduction of the scientific committees by the university re representative. Okay, first is from University Brunei Darul Salam. Is there any representative? Uh, yes. Okay. Can I, can I share my screen? Can you? Yeah. Okay. 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 Next. Next is. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Please, uh, the representative from University Brunei Darussalam. Okay, so um, hello, Assalamualaikum. Hello, Salam. Yes, Prof. Waalaikumsalam. Okay. Okay. All right, uh, I'll just be, be quick. Just uh, just give an introduction of the our, our members. There's six of us in the team. Um, just just a, a little bit background of the university. We are like the 30 years old, so it's quite young, and we have a staff student ratio. Uh, uh, around 500 staff. So it's a relatively small university. We have um, uh, around nine academic staff across different uh, faculties and uh, seven research institute 
uh, focusing on uh, our focus uh, research area. Okay. So in terms of the, we, as I said before, we have a, a total of six um, committee members across different faculties. So myself, I come from the engineering faculties. Uh, we tried to 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 uh, to give representation members um, uh, from ac across the different faculties. So Dr. Nick is from um, health science faculty. Uh, we also have uh, from uh, business, Dr. Masero two representative from social science and Dr. Masita is from the education sections. Okay, so uh, background the COVID situation in Brunei. So we are quite lucky in Brunei actually because uh, the December 20, 2019, that, that's the first case of COVID-19 uh, detected in China. Uh, in, immediately after that, when it was detected January 2020, the government imposed um, some travel restrictions uh, in Brunei already. And we only detect our first case in Brunei, that's a 53, 53 years old, uh, traveling, uh, coming back from, I think, from Malaysia on the 3rd of March. And immediately after that, we have, uh, we, the government uh, closed the schools and all the public uh, places. And then we, we, we implement our business continuity plan for the workplace. And then, alhamdulillah, by the 6th of May, um, at that time, we have, um, at the time, a total of 131 infected cases detected in Brunei. Although it's quite low, but uh, considering uh, our population, which is just uh, around 400k, so that's quite a lot already. But but that's our last local transmission lah, because at this time the border are uh, relatively uh, well. We have a lot of travel restrictions. Uh, people are coming in, they have to be quarantined and everything. And our um, our nationals, Brunei nationals, are not allowed. Uh, to travel outside. So at the current situation, we have uh, everything is under control, alhamdulillah. We have 175 cases detected. So we have not had our uh, any local transmission since 6th of May. So that's more than 200 days already. So we have three active cases at the moment, three, de three deaths and 169 cases that are already covered. So it, um, I think we, uh, for Bruneians, we are quite happy with the, the progress on that. Uh, in terms of research, right? Uh, of course, as I said before, um, once the the first cases is detected, the government immediately closes the school, so everything um, changed into digital, right? So one of the things is the education in e-learning. So that's I would say most of the research uh, comes from this education in e-learning and also from the health sciences. So we do a lot of research on that, and we. Uh, e-learning and online assessment for higher education, like uh, the universities, because the school also have to go digital. So there's a lot of e-learning and blended learning in school, colleges, and the, our ministries. And then, of course, related to that, um, because everything is going digital, so we have the digital education information system, research on that. And also we do more than that, comparative studies on online studies between uh, different nations, developed and underdeveloped nations. So we, we do with our collaborators comparative studies on that. Uh, for education and e-learning, we, we, our, our colleagues from the education, the education faculty, we have a strong collaboration between UBD and the Ministry of Education, of course. And we have uh, a lot of research um, projects running and then uh, research grant coming from uh, MOE as well. Uh, other areas, so I'll just quickly go through social sciences. So we implement a lot of social dis distancing. So we do a lot, also have research on that uh, from our colleagues in social science, media narrative, public opinion, implementation aspects, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And we are also happy with the with the the way the government responds. So we do a lot of comparative studies on uh, like to draw lessons from the way our government response to the COVID-19 such that it become under control uh, quickly. So we, uh, some of the researchers are doing work on lessons on responding to COVID-19 from Brunei. So uh, drawing the different policies that uh, we implemented, uh, what the different uh, government sectors uh, did and the public sectors as well. So we collaborate with other institutes as well, not only in Brunei, but outside industries to study the effect of COVID-19 in other communities as well, not only in Brunei. Uh, other, other researchers in economic 
finance as well. So we have a research on impact of COVID-19 on the socio-economic behavior, because mostly for Bruneians, we mostly previously before the uh, pre-COVID, we Bruneians love to travel abroad. Now with that, what is the impact of COVID-19 with the old travel restrictions? We also do um, work on tourism, ecotourism specifically, because Br Br Brunei uh, do a lot of ecotourism, especially in uh, our jungle. Um, other than that, we also do, uh, we are strong in Islamic finance, so we, uh, some of our researchers are, are working on that as well. Uh, we do ha also have um, a number of migrant workers, so some of our colleagues are also doing uh, work on uh, COVID-19, in fact, COVID-19 on the migrant workers. Um, other than that, we not re maybe related to research. We do have a special issue on COVID-19 for the Journal of Business and Economic Analysis. Maybe um, if ITTP would like to collaborate with UBD on the specific, specifically with our uh, business uh, faculty. And we also have special is issue on COVID-19 for, for social science as well. So as I said before, the, the education and the health sector is the two main during the, the COVID-19. So the other one is the public health. Uh, health science research is going strong at the moment. Um, we do study analysis on social di di distancing, survey and knowledge, uh, survey and knowledge awareness and hygiene practices among professionals in relation to COVID-19, mortality prediction models for COVID-19, but this one is related to uh, machine learning. So that's quite interesting as well. Uh, we do a lot of public health research. But the good thing about the what they are doing from the health, um, they, they collaborate a lot with the Ministry of Health uh, because we at the moment they, they are actually helping with the analysis of data, uh, developing the policy that um, what the government should do. So there's a, a strong linkage between our health faculty uh, and, and the Ministry of Health in Brunei. We also do work on occupational health um, treatment as well, because um, there's a lot of work on uh, review on treatment, studies on a different uh, treatment that may be used on COVID, uh, COVID patients and other health related topics and our health, um, uh, uh, health faculty also do a lot of voluntary work, not only on research, because we try to complement that with uh, actual uh, voluntary work with the uh, Minister of Health in the communities during the COVID and even after this. There's a lot of engagement uh, with the public uh, and the ministries. Okay. So that's some of the pictures that uh, the, some of the uh, work that they're doing, the, the uh, community work that the uh, donations of um, uh, masks and everything from, with the health, uh, with, uh, from the health institute. In terms of engineering technology and natural science, that's um, because everybody, everything is going digital now. Uh, so uh, kind of the, uh, slow, uh, the initial stages, there's uh, not a lot of work, but as we move, um, as the Ministry of Health um, implemented all those uh, apps that we have to use and the Ministry of Education go, goes digital. So there's this, Lot, uh, some research going on. So we have general intelligence system of a digital ecosystem, of course, digital education information system. We have our own mobile health apps. And then we are hoping that with the, as more data is collected because it's implemented, I think the, the app that we use is implemented in uh, around March. I think that, that by now we are looking, UBD is looking into collaboration between the public health and the team of the UBD with the Ministry of Health and digital app provider because there's more data now that um, that we can work on, on in terms of data analytics and everything. Um, we also, some of our researchers are do, doing work on filtration the, because uh, that, that's the background activity at carbon and how it can prevent uh, COVID infection. Uh, alternative energy sources is of SOFC and uh, bio, from biology uh, department as well. So, in, so far, I think this uh, UBD has been successful. I, th I think that there's more than 40 publications coming out from UBD and some book chapters on COVID-19 related topics. So I have accompanied a list of publications to the, I've emailed uh, the, the organizers on that, the list of publications coming out from UBD. 
Um, also, from for during the COVID, there's close collaboration with ministries, particularly Ministry of Health and Ministry of Education. As we go digital, uh, as the pandemic goes on, um, we our researchers, our health researchers, um, uh, form close collaborations uh, with the uh, Ministry of Health and uh, our education uh, faculties. They also work closely uh, to develop uh, the, the S blended learning. Uh, to make the online experience, online learning uh, more fruitful uh, for, for the, to, to ease the transitions from conventional learning to a digital learning. So it, in terms uh, for potential future collaboration with other stakeholders in, involved in Brunei dig, uh, digitalizations. And I, I think with the, although uh, the, the, with the COVID-19, there's more opportunity, opportunities for research and community work as well. So that's what um, UBD is uh, latching on. Lah. So we are aligning uh, all the different, we have instructions from our management to align ourselves more in terms of research and community work to the needs of industries, uh, including government and NGOs. Right. Okay. Right. Thank you very much. Okay, Prof. Thank you. Very interesting, Prof. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, uh, next is uh, the another representative from Royal University of Phnom Penh. So I, I'll be the representative of the Yes, Prof. Yes, Prof. Yes, it's me. Yeah. 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 Two to five minutes. So yeah, please. I'll, Thank you. All right. It's going to be short, actually. Yeah. So I'll share my screen. So, good afternoon, everyone. So, my name is M. Teret. I am one of the um, committee members right here. Actually, I, um, we have to say sorry because um, it's kind of misunderstanding who should uh, representing our university uh, to present this kind of um, um, committee right here. So um, we actually um, uh, recognize, um, have, um, actually it's quite late for us to collect all the data right here. So I, I'll just go um, uh, briefly um, of what um, uh, research fields are in the, right here. Um, actually, uh, I myself, uh, my name is Tarot and my field is actually um, in condensed matter um, experiment. And we have um, Dr. Satira right here. Um, his field is in financial mismatic and stochastic process and Dr. Stay in nanomaterials and photocatalyst. Um, of course, uh, Dr. Janaret Jan um, is in the field of um, English language um, teaching and research. And also um, uh, Dr. Nops uh, Setun is in urban resilient planning. So um, actually in terms of research, uh, COVID-19 related research, um, we um, recognize that we are quite slow to react to um, the COVID-19 in terms of research. Um, to the best of my knowledge, but um, if um, I miss information, um, all the participants here, especially IGP uh, colleagues right here, please um, add, but uh, um, we actually do not so far have um, um, research related to COVID-19, um, even though we have um, several million US dollar research being implemented at UBP. And this is my own research, which is actually uh, in uh, synthesis, characterization, characterization um, device fabrication and, and application of nanomaterials to the two-dimensional materials. Um, it's a 1 million uh, US dollar project, but of course um, um, this is um, a non-COVID-19 research in um, our university. So it's quite slow for us to react to the COVID-19 situation in terms of research. So this is kind of um, a brief um, and then it's all. And I think um, um, my colleague, if you want to add, uh, please um, um, add something right here because I kind of um, um, only know the information because we have the last minute uh, preparation. So um, yes, please, uh, if you have any um, um, things to add. Okay, thanks Prof. Therese. Is there any? from Phnom Penh University? Uh, I, I can see, uh, uh, 
I'm I'm sorry. Uh, uh, college of Pirates. I want to add a little bit. Can yes, you hear me? On, yes, yes, yes. Uh, actually, uh, as Tarat said, uh, because we are, I'm from the research office. Uh, actually, we don't have a direct project from our university working on the COVID-19. However, uh, the Ministry of Education they have uh, uh, several. Uh, project work with UNICEF and Save Children. You know, uh, actually, uh, our colleague at the ministry, they have done some research before open the school. And also, uh, recently, I'm doing uh, research with the ministry under the uh, the bucket of uh, the ministry. I'm going to conduct a research on resilience. That means uh, uh, how uh, the the school resilient to the 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 chain uh, or the shock and stress like COVID. So uh, actually, we have uh, several research uh, done on uh, COVID-19. However, uh, uh, not directly funded from, by the university, by the ministry, uh, international organization like uh, UNESCO, UNICEF, and uh, Save Children. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Prof. All right, maybe we go to the next university representative. Can we? Okay, now maybe for next is uh, representative from Unis Universitas Airlangga. Is there any representative from Universitas Airlangga? No man, you do. Represent. Is it Prof. Uh, Prof. Prosanti? No, Professor Nyoman. Prof. Nyoman. Okay. Is there any? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I still uh, mute. Is it already see? But yes, yes. Can you Prof. Okay. Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you uh, very much uh, for Dr. Otman uh, as a moderator of this uh, introducing our uh, team. Uh, so uh, please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Nyoman, uh, the Vice Director of Research, Innovation and Community Development Mirtas Erlangga. Uh, first of all, my team and I uh, would like to extend our gratitude to ITTP COVID-19 for inviting, uh, inviting us, Universitas Erlangga, in this collaboration uh, meeting. So uh, today I would like to briefly introduce uh, the uh, scientific committee of Universitas Erlangga. So uh, myself is number one and number two, the second one is... Uh, Dr. Mifta Husurur is now also attend, attending this meeting with us. And then uh, Professor Maria Ingelusida. So many of our scientific uh, committee member is from Faculty of Medicine. Uh, we have uh, Dr. Mifta Husurur, uh, Professor Maria Ingelusida, Professor Nancy Margarita Rehat, uh, Rehata. Uh, three of them is from Faculty of Medicine. And the others is also from Faculty of Pharmacy, uh, Professor Dr. Umi, uh, and also from uh, Social and Political Science, Professor Ramaida, and uh, from Faculty of Economy and Business, uh, Dr. Nispu, uh, and Ibu Santi, Dr. Santi, also attending this meeting. Uh, she is the Dean from Faculty of uh, Public Health. And Dr. Miftas Husurur, he is also the Vice Rector for Internationalization digitalization and information. And the last, the last one is Dr. Purwati. She's the one who doing also uh, research on COVID-19 uh, to designing a drug uh, development. So in this uh, opportunity, I would like to share because uh, we have only five minutes uh, time to uh, share about what uh, Dr. Langa do re related to the COVID-19 research. So I would like to introduce first my university, Universitas Erlangga. We have 15 faculties and one school. So we are composing in uh, three main uh, 
field is the one is health sciences and then life sciences and engineering. And uh, the third one is social sciences. So we are comprehensive university. We have uh, academic, professional, and also vocational study. So this is very important uh, during the COVID-19 because uh, like vocational and professional study, they uh, have to uh, show and also to have the skill-based uh, education as their competency. So then uh, it is uh, very difficult, of course, to face uh, up our uh, education for them uh, during the pandemic COVID-19. But then we also uh, the same like uh, uh, the others member that uh, during the COVID, so we then have implemented online teaching uh, since March 2020 until now uh, by use our learning management system or we call it AULA. And then we have been conducting also uh, others uh, research related to the COVID-19. So for that, we uh, would like also to uh, mention that uh, our university has already adapted uh, during uh, COVID-19 to make more uh, safety in our campus. So we adapted from the Asian University Network uh, Health Promoting University. I think Dr. Chautis is very actively uh, have uh, uh, this meeting uh, with uh, the member of AUN. So we adapt this health promoting university as also in our uh, university to uh, do more pay attention uh, uh, for our uh, activity in our campus uh, related to like uh, the policy of our leaders uh, to then uh, check uh, or selectively also doing like surveillance to our all uh, academician uh, and also our student uh, before uh, they are entering the, the campus. So we are, we are not totally locked down. Uh, we still do uh, research and also some of the practical that can uh, do by online system. So we are also check our staff uh, at, uh, teaching staff or also administrative staff to like uh, healthy and check for their uh, like rapid tests uh, for the COVID-19. And also we uh, facilitate like a dormitory to make like uh, their uh, quarantine, self-quarantine uh, during have a positive uh, infection of the COVID-19. So we also adapted like improvement the individual capacity to healthy living uh, the family and also for the uh, student. We also have uh, uh, like a social responsibility of the student to the society uh, for their like educated uh, the society for how to face to the uh, COVID-19 in their uh, family or in their uh, society and also in their uh, office. So, um, so then this is uh, the one that uh, we do for the education of processing in Universitas Erlangga uh, related to the uh, offline uh, activity, even though it's not a very uh, majority uh, activity in our campus, but we still do that like for research, uh, for the practical and also for the professional uh, education. So this is periodically we do uh, the, uh, for completing the COVID-19 uh, surveillance in our campus for all uh, staff, academic and also administration staff, student, uh, uh, and of course also uh, for uh, all, all our uh, academia in Universitas Erlangga. So this is the, uh, the periodically report. Uh, the last one we collected uh, last 20 of December 2020. So in total, we can see here uh, how we can uh, check uh, our uh, uh, academia or also student and also uh, administration staff, uh, their uh, condition in themselves or also in their family. So because uh, we have also worked from home for uh, our uh, academia for teaching and learning, but some of them also doing their research in our university or in the campus. So uh, 
Universitas Erlangga, we have two teaching hospital. Uh, and also we have one Institute of Tropical Disease and both of them as a national referral hospital. And also for uh, treatment or services for COVID-19 infected uh, patient in the hospital, infection disease hospital. So we have two uh, kind of the hospital. They are separately, the green one is a teaching hospital and we call it the red one, especially for uh, treat the infection uh, patient, infection of the COVID-19 patient in uh, infection disease hospital. So, and the other one is uh, the laboratory, Institute of Tropical Disease, that this is uh, the referral laboratory to check uh, for the COVID-19 um, uh, using the PCR uh, machine and also analyzing the whole uh, genome sequence of this COVID-19. So in this building, in Institute of uh, Tropical Disease, uh, then we do the research related to COVID-19. So the first one, we also doing research regarding to the vaccine uh, for COVID-19 uh, together with uh, by the uh, consortium research that already introduced uh, by uh, Professor uh, Eko. So in Indonesia, we have a national consortium research uh, or special, uh, especially for COVID-19. And our university also part of them. And we have one platform for our, from our university for developing the vaccine research uh, using the platform of the uh, viral vector. And we are also uh, doing the research related to COVID by uh, designing the drug development, especially for the COVID-19. We use also like by using this uh, organic synthesize, but uh, the other we use also combination for the analog antiviral uh, medicine that already used uh, globally. I think that uh, all of uh, us already know like uh, antiviral uh, related like uh, remdesivir and also uh, favipiravir and, uh, and others. And then the third one, we also do like the biosensor uh, for the uh, check uh, test of the COVID-19. And the last one is uh, doing the whole genome sequences of the SARS-CoV-2. And we have also submitted to the GC uh, from uh, Indonesian uh, uh, SARS-CoV-2 Indonesian uh, strain. So this is the consortium research. Uh, we call it in our national research is vaccine merah putih. So merah putih is our flag red and white. So we call it this consortium as vaccine merah putih. So this one is designing uh, under our platform, Universitas Erlangga. Uh, there, are, uh, there are six uh, institutions uh, as a member of the consortium research on vaccine merah putih. So uh, Universitas Erlangga and then ITB, uh, Universitas Indonesia and Universitas Gajah Mada. And then uh, the last one is uh, Research Institute ECMAN uh, together with uh, LIPI and BBBT. So this platform is from Universitas Erlangga. We use viral vector uh, as uh, our uh, vaccine uh, platform. And now we are already uh, done until we got the recombinant of uh, adenovirus we use as a vector. And then uh, we, uh, we started uh, to do for the preclinical trial, animal trial. So now we still wait, waiting for the hamster uh, imported from uh, USA because this is uh, the standard uh, hamster that uh, we will, uh, we will um, uh, do, uh, we will use for, uh, for this kind of the uh, animal uh, trial because this is under the uh, WHO uh, standard, yes. And then uh, this is the timeline of our uh, research and we hope that we can do uh, this kind of research as, uh, very well. And the, uh, the last one for the whole genome sequence of this variant, uh, Universitas Erlangga, we have uh, done now uh, 45 strain uh, from uh, our uh, from Surabaya and East Java patient, and we have already submitted to GSET uh, 29. 
because the other is still uh, analyzing before submitted to this uh, this uh, database in global database of the virus. So from the GSET, if we look from Indonesia, we have around now 244 uh, genome sequence or whole genome sequence of the uh, COVID-19 already submitted by Indonesian researcher from uh, many uh, university and also research institute. And then if we look from the international and global data, now we have around uh, 40, uh, 400,000 400, uh, genome sequence for globally uh, submitted to GC. So this one, I think is very important to analyze like a new variant uh, came from UK or any other else. So, uh, I would like to share in this meeting regarding to the whole genome sequences but one of uh, that is very important, I think, uh, for all all can, uh, all, uh, all over the world, that you know that uh, the one variant is the D614 uh, mutated to the G, and this will happening almost in 94 uh, per, uh, percent in all of the world with the almost 134 countries. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, and yeah, can you okay. Yeah. The yeah, okay. This is the last one. Yeah, so uh, in our university, we have also checked this kind of the mutation. Uh, and, uh, look here that this uh, mutation also appear um, majority around Surabaya and East Java. So this is, this is the important thing I think that uh, we we can also uh, doing together to analyze this uh, kind of the variant. We have also many other uh, research uh, as a supporting for our university uh, to be more safe in the COVID-19 like a, a sterilizer room uh, and then also uh, using the disinfectant, we, we use analyte sanitizer and we can also uh, uh, producing robotic in our teaching hospital, uh, collaboration with uh, Surabaya Institute of Technology. This is the robotic to serve uh, our patient and then limited interaction among uh, medical doctor with the patient. So also hand sanitizer, face shield and, uh, and, uh, and many others uh, supporting for uh, health promoting uh, our uh, university face to the COVID-19. I think this is uh, our uh, sharing uh, information regarding what we do, our research in Unitas Erlangga for COVID-19. Thank you very much. Okay, Prof. Okay, Prof. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, we are running time now. Uh, of course, this is a very interesting, so, you know, the materials when you talk about the vaccine, Merah Putih and so on, wow, very interesting. Okay, the next movie, uh, uh, who's the next? The next is uh, from Universitas Indonesia. I think the presentation is around two minutes, yeah? Must be, uh, need to finish around two minutes. Okay, carry this from Indonesia. Is there any? Thank you. Still mute, I think. Okay, uh, uh, good afternoon, that... everyone. Yes, good afternoon. Yes, Prof, carry on. Okay, um, yeah, it's because uh, there is um, only limited time available for us. So let yes. me uh, show you the... <clears throat> the names of the scientific committee members from our university. So uh, is, is uh, the PPT can be seen? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Prof. Okay. Okay, so uh, our university will contribute mainly in the health um, sector, in the health uh, aspects of our uh, international conference, of this international conference. So these scientific committee members are uh, those from the faculties of health science cluster in the Universitas of Indonesia. Oh. You can see here their expertise uh, varies from reproductive health, epidemiology, 
um, um, health promotion, health communication, etc. So um, we also uh, there are some colleagues uh, from the Faculty of Medicine and Faculty of Pharmacy, and in the Faculty of Medicine, the dean it's, uh, her, himself also join as the scientific committee member, also the vice dean. Uh, they are in the field of internal medicine and microbiology. And the dean of the faculty of public health will uh, contribute in the field of public health education. So currently um, we do um, quite many research dealing with COVID-19. I can say there are two, let's say two topics, two main topics. One topic is related to medicine that we are trying to find, of course, one is the vaccine. Now the research is still ongoing, but we also try to find uh, the best um, uh, therapy for the cases. So it's done by our colleague from the Faculty of Medicine. And the Faculty of um, uh, Engineering, they do uh, their research mainly to develop uh, innovations uh, uh, relating with a new, not, not really new, but relating with um, health appliance. For example, we are developing the mobile ventilator, for example. It's already uh, produced and used in several hospitals. We also try to develop uh, swap sticks that before we have to import, but now we can um, make it by ourselves. So our colleague from the Faculty of Engineering, they do in a very close relationship with very close collaboration with our colleagues from in, um, Faculty of Medicine, as well as uh, from Faculty of uh, Public Health and Faculty of Pharmacy. Pharmacy. While the colleagues from Faculty of Public Health uh, focus their uh, research on um, matters relating with public health, uh, in some some topics, for example, relating how we can change the behavior of the community since uh, the new normal is actually a new behavior, and then how the um, uh, disease affect the um, uh, the other uh, health status of the community, and also uh, the economic um, aspect of the disease. In this case, is the health economics. And we also um, do some uh, research relating with uh, environmental health and also occupational health because um, the transmission of the COVID-19, uh, there are many transmission in the health, uh, in the work uh, settings. I think this is a, a short um, introduction from my university. So we are very grateful to, uh, to join this um, uh, international conference and our staff is already um, prepared themselves to join as a scientific committee. I think this is all from Universitas Indonesia. Thank you, Professor Othman. Okay, thank you, Prof. Uh, uh, Agustin, thank you, Prof. Okay, the next presentation is from Univitas uh, Univitas uh, Pada, Pajadaran, Pajajaran, eh? Pajajaran, yes. Ya, yeah. thank you, Professor Otman. Can I share screen? Ini presentation ya, Prof. Ya, yeah, oke. Okay. I will do it as fast as possible. Uh, <laughs> uh, I will test it, Prof. Yes. Yes, I will. I will skip the introduction of my my university. This is uh, you can see it here. The our university at a glance. Uh, I would like to introduce. Uh, I would like to introduce the representative from my university for the scientific committee members. Uh, the first one is Dr. Setiawan. The second one is Dr. Lesmana. Both of them is from Faculty of Medicine. Uh, their background is medical doctor. And the third, Professor Subroto. And uh, next is Dr. Yusuf. Both of them is uh, from our Faculty of Mathematical and Natural Sciences. Uh, they are actively engaged in vaccine development research in our university, and they are also part of the uh, Indonesian Consortium for Vaccine Meraputi. And the last one is Dr. Swantika for, from our Faculty of Pharmacy. His background is uh, health economics. Uh, he uh, uh, has several uh, publications on the health economics of uh, pandemic. Uh, this is the uh, what we have done during the, the pandemic. Uh, just a, a brief, uh, we developed a self-awareness system for, 
for for uh, population and then uh, also we give a uh, services or for psychological consultation services and also we uh, connect the the uh, entrepreneur uh, startup entrepreneur uh, group into the the community uh, and also we introduce the telehypnosis and uh, we also developed the maybe you already know the cepat antigen rapid test for covid-19 uh, this is uh, the anti antigen based uh, that developed in, in Indonesia. And then uh, we also developed the ventilator and also the iceless viral transport system fit pad to transport the virus. Uh, this is that we have uh, done, but we also still do the ongoing COVID related research. Uh, we also actively engage in the vaccine Merakuti consortium. We develop a vaccine uh, uh, that uh, passive vaccine, recombinant protein vaccine, and liposome peptide vaccine. Also, we uh, our researcher also now engage in in uh, antigen based COVID nineteen test uh, rapid test, uh, but this for the non invasive one uh, using the saliva. Uh, and then uh, we also uh, part of our uh, uh, government uh, team task force for the post pandemic socioeconomic and mental health recovery in West Java province, Indonesia. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, that's the brief uh, introduction from uh, our university. So I hope uh, we can uh, give a, a valuable contribution from for, for this meeting. Thank you, Professor Otman. Thank you, Prof. Ricky. Uh, okay, thank you, Prof. Ricky. Oh, very interesting on, uh, you know, oh, many research on uh, COVID-19. Okay, the next, actually, for, uh, representative from University Kebangsaan Malaysia, please. Uh, okay, so can I just share with you? Yeah, my... yeah. Yep, okay. So I just stick yeah. with the template. Uh, yeah. Hello, everyone. So can you see my presentation? Yes. Can you see? Yeah? Not yet, bro. Not yet. Not yet? Yes, yes, already. I have it. Yeah, okay. I have it. Okay. All yeah. right, okay. okay already, yeah. Right. Right, okay, so um, uh, my name is Norfilza, so that's the top my name. So I'm from the uh, Faculty of Medicine together with Prof. Marhani. Uh, she's the psychiatrist, so I'm the molecular medicine uh, um, uh, researchers. Together with me, uh, Prof. Uh, Talib uh, and also Associate Professor Dr. Sharul from the Faculty of uh, Science and Technology. Uh, they are great in looking at the air pollution post pandemic and during pandemic, as well as uh, with me uh, is Associate Professor Dr. Sawal Hamid uh, Ma Ali, which is from the Faculty of Engineering. Right, so these are uh, our representative for the uh, university. So I, I just want to share with you some of the topic that being uh, funded either from the ministry as well as the from the university. So under the social science, so we got uh, funding for the guideline to uh, come up with the post-mortem handling during, uh, during COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, we do have uh, uh, domestic tourism, uh, researchers working on it on, for the economic booster. And for the health sciences, we got uh, quite a number of the research grant to uh, work on either uh, online-based psychological support uh, for the ENT group uh, looking at the olfactory impairment uh, and in association with the RNA viral load and uh, some pilot studies working on the angiotensin converted enzyme 2 um, in the severity of COVID-19 and, and also uh, a group of hematology looking at the uh, association between COVID-19 and coagulation. And of course, there, uh, there are uh, people from the Faculty of uh, Science and Technology looking at the uh, COVID-19, the management of COVID-19, the enclosed environment by the air filtration and the plant-mediated silver nanoparticle. And the last one is on the uh, establishment of the consensus guideline for biomedical researchers involving all the types of the uh, research during, during and post-pandemic uh, uh, COVID-19. So these are still ongoing. Some of these are uh, already come up with the uh, interesting and some of it already published. So uh, for the engineering, they have uh, quite a plenty of uh, research related with COVID-19. Of course, the GPS and also Bluetooth uh, based tracking for the monitoring and application for the high risk COVID-19. Uh, the other uh, quite interesting is 
on the air pollution that impacts the COVID-19 pandemic control strategies in Malaysia. So uh, I think some of these are international co collaboration as well. And we do have a bio-surveillance study to investigate the possible airborne transmission uh, in the indoor environment. Some, I think they have uh, managed to isolate uh, viral virus, uh, COVID-19 virus, coronavirus, in the air of these uh, in um, uh, what that uh, that um, where the COVID-19 patients. So that's quite interesting uh, publications uh, will be coming out. So some of the mathematical people are doing on the prediction model, uh, some of the, of the uh, computational uh, characterization of SARS-2 in, in, in related with the drug. So it's more on the uh, um, these are proteomics people, they are doing that. So uh, some of those um, people are looking at the PPE suit for the protecting of the fr uh, frontliners. And uh, the last one is, is on the apps, as I said just now, is on the uh, an integrated application of the COVID-19 uh, outbreak control uh, through the uh, Bluetooth uh, for the airborne transmission monitoring. I think that's all for me. Uh, thank you uh, for the opportunity. Okay, thanks Prof. Noron Filza. It was very interesting presentation. Wow, very interesting, many research area. Okay, next. Thanks Prof. Yeah, next, uh, University Malay. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Osman. Um, first of all, uh, yes, thank you yeah, for inviting thank you, us. Yes, thank you very much for inviting us. Um, I'm not going to go through the list of, of research that we, we have done because uh, I think what I can see is that there's a lot of similarity of what we do. But um, what I can see from the previous presentation is very much skewed on the science and uh, medicine. Uh, we also have got quite a, a bit. I just want to share with you only one uh, event that we have the um, ex-dean of the Faculty of Medicine uh, just had a uh, last few days uh, webinar with uh, Dr. Anthony Fossey from the U.S. National Institute of uh, Allergy and Infectious Diseases, as well as Dr. Linda Gale from the, um, the uh, uh, working on the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine. So uh, nevertheless, my colleague, Dr. Uh, Prof. Yvonne, will share with you the works on the science area. Now, uh, I know that in this session, uh, Chotis is here with me and uh, looking at the profile of the universities, quite a number of us are members of the AUN. So if I can kindly propose a uh, something like, uh, as what has been mentioned by uh, someone before this, where if we could be in charge of one or two tracks, perhaps under the AUN team, we're looking at some topics, which is perhaps non-science. Um, we have got a few um, on, um, you know, something like, uh, curate on museums what we don't have museums anymore everything is closed the social science as well as something at like looking at libraries so what happens to library post covid these are some of social science issues so if you could i mean we will be more than happy to work uh, under aun to invite a few of the universities of aun and address some of the social science aspect of it to, to add flavor to the whole conference itself so that's pretty much i would like to share and perhaps i just would like to give one more minute uh, to uh, Professor Yvonne to say a few words, Prof Yvonne. Thank you, Prof Yong. Um, yeah, I just wanted to also share uh, some of the other slides. It's my, okay, so these are some of the things that uh, UM has been doing and I think uh, other universities as well in terms of diagnostics, we have had a data repository um, in terms of everything went online and it was shared, uh, especially within the state and as, as well as uh, national as well. And we were also involved in the sequencing of the COVID-19 and um, the formulation of uh, different types of hand sanitizers uh, using natural products as well. And very importantly, we were also uh, producing a remote electronic medical service uh, provisions and services uh, for for. Uh, the Ministry of Health. Now, um, our university medical center uh, has been heavily involved in managing uh, COVID and we are one of the uh, centers whereby uh, 
is designated for to handle uh, COVID-19. And uh, our former Dean of the Faculty of Medicine was also in the, and she is currently in the task force in managing uh, COVID-19 um, in the state. Now, I'd like to reiterate, uh, this is my last slide. I'd just like to reiterate some points that Prof. Yong has mentioned. I think the social science aspect is very, very important, um, you know, and multidisciplinary aspects as well. I think in terms of even looking into tourism, the effect of of the effect of COVID-19 into our economics, into our food security. Um, in terms of uh, the virus contaminating our sewerage and environmental studies as well. Um, although we are very quite heavy into the medical research, but we also have uh, many researchers. In fact, we have close to 70 uh, projects concurrently that is happening, and they're more in the pipeline, uh, looking at all aspects of uh, COVID and not just from the medical side. Uh, from the medical side, what I'd like to also uh, highlight here, uh, possibly it's important for us to look into the mental health uh, mental well-being of uh, not just the patients, but I think the caregivers, even the community, because all of us have been affected in, in this pandemic some way or another. So hopefully we can actually have some of these topics uh, discussed in the conference. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks, Prof. Uh, very, very interesting. Okay, uh, on the or research that uh, run in uh, UM. Okay, the next representative from UPM. Please. Uh, Alaikum. Uh, very good afternoon. Yeah, thank you very much uh, for yeah. giving UPM opportunity to present. So uh, I'm going to be very quick. I'm representing University of Putra Malaysia. So all together we have 10 members in the scientific committee. And uh, um, the, the fields of interest is in the development of vaccines and diagnostic kit, virology, Education, sports science, chemical biophysics, computational chemistry and nanomedicine, business management, robotics, information technology and innovation, uh, public health, and, and last but not least, in, in the environmental and occupational health. So, next slide, please. Okay, um, all right, so uh, we, we cover um, a lot of research, basically in general, we cover public health aspects related to COVID-19 responses and health implications, both on physical and mental health. Um, can you guys listen to me? Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. I have uh, you know, uh, a problem with my connection here. So uh, uh, I would like to uh, just list some of the uh, specific research that we are ongoing, doing, doing on it. The first one is on aerolyzed palm-based nano emulsion for pulmonary drug delivery. And then uh, metal organic frameworks drug nano delivery system for pulmonary treatment. Development of vaccines and diagnostic kits for COVID. Uh, then, and then development of mobile apps for food delivery riders and the risk of COVID-19. And last but not least, uh, disinfection robots. So uh, with that, I end my presentation. Thank you very much. Okay, Prof. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Very interesting. Many research, uh, you know, many research area that we can collaborate and so on everything. Okay, now next is from University of Science Malaysia, please. Any representative from University of Science Malaysia? Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum, Prof. Um, okay. I'm, 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 I'm uh, Ruslan Hashim. I'm uh, going to be uh, Deputy Vice Chancellor of um, uh, uh, Sustainability and uh, Institutional Development. Um, and um, I'm also the chairman of uh, logistic, uh, what we call uh, management in, in USM of the COVID. We call this nerve center, where, where we uh, used to, to, to meet up every uh, two days, every, every week to, to, to manage the, the logistic. Anyway, 
So, uh, in a USM perspective, um, by the way, uh, our scenario, we have uh, three main uh, big campus. Uh, one, uh, uh, sorry, one is main campus uh, in, in Penang Island. And we have a uh, health campus in, uh, in Kelantan, which is in the in north part of Peninsula, and also uh, engineering campus. So managing these three campuses uh, with the uh, staff uh, amounting about 10,000 and the student in a normal day uh, amounting to 30,000 is a, is a huge task. Anyway, so I bring uh, up the uh, scientific community uh, committee members uh, for, for for you to, to introduce um, and myself is from a macroelectronic uh, background and we have um, um, Prof Ahmad Sukari which happened to be also uh, expert in, in surgery and also the campus director in health in, in, in Kelantan and we have uh, Prof Rosli Nasan uh, background from pathology, and then we have Prof. Zakwan, uh, microbiology, and then we have uh, asset Prof. Uh, one uh, Muhammad Zahiruddin from public health, uh, Prof. Azia from molecular medicine, Prof. Uh, Habibah uh, uh, pharmaceutical background, and we have Prof. Prof. Alex uh, on aquaculture, and we have Prof. Intan uh, from psychology, and uh, Prof. Uh, Aliza from human uh, resource uh, management. Of course, the, the number is not uh, limited. We, we miss our clip from engineering as well, but uh, maybe we can invite them uh, later. Um, so basically, uh, I will stop uh, at, at that. Maybe I would invite uh, Prof. Roslin to give some, some highlight on the research that is currently going on in related to uh, COVID-19. Roslin, you have anything to add? Yes, Prof. Roslin, please. Maybe uh, two minutes. Is there any? Prof. Roslin is there? Yeah, yeah uh, I'm coming, but I was like searching for my, sharing my, uh, I'm sharing my PowerPoint. Um, yeah. Yeah, Prof. Can, can you make it short, Prof? Yeah, one minute or two minutes, yeah? Yeah, anyway, I uh, just, just couldn't find my PowerPoint. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, just uh, as uh, Prof. Rosa mentioned, I'm the Deputy Dean of uh, Research from the School of Medical Sciences. So we are actually from the Health Campus. Um, we are currently a hybrid hospital, which means that we also manage and treat patients of, with COVID together with the Ministry of Health. Um, uh, on, uh, in addition to that, uh, on the education part, uh, mainly we, majority of, since last year, we are doing online teaching and learning uh, to, with, for the undergraduate students. We only take the, year, the final year, the clinical students to come and register with us for the clinical teaching, but otherwise for the pre-clinicals, they are doing the, the teaching and learning uh, through online. And uh, uh, I would say that uh, we have been conducting a very successful online teaching. Um, even for the exams, we have been doing that very well uh, for, the, for, the, for the medical students exams. Yeah, even the professional exam it has been doing that uh, through online. For the postgraduate teaching and learning, um, especially for the medical, uh, clinical postgraduate teaching and learning, for the research part, they are coming to the uh, lab to do research. And for the clinicals, they are also coming in to the hospital and continue their, their studies. So we don't have any problems in teaching and learning for the postgraduate students in the clinical and health sciences. And uh, for the uh, 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 research part, I would say that we have got almost about total about 20 research up to date uh, with collaboration within the IPT, the universities uh, in, in Malaysia, as well as the international university collaboration. And then, um, uh, we also have produced a lot of publications, uh, about 50 publications to date. And the publications are mainly about the education, how we actually conduct uh, teaching and learning, as well as the looking at the um, uh, uh, ORL, or uh, autoreteringo, so you know, how the loss of the smells. Huh? Uh, the, the current research that we are doing is on the um, uh, molecular of the COVID-19, uh, looking at the uh, viral genomes. 
and um, uh, we know that we have been uh, uh, putting uh, our patients based on the clusters, uh, based on the areas, but we found out that um, uh, genetically they are a bit different. Uh, although epidemiologically we can say that they may contract virus among themselves, but um, using the molecular um, genetics uh, of the viral, we can see that they are actually uh, not related so much. And uh, uh, we, we maybe, you know, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a early phase yet. We are still looking at how this uh, gene, uh, you know, this uh, spread among those uh, in, our in our states, in our country as well. So a bit, uh, briefly, that's about the research that we are doing. We're also looking at the mental state as well um, on the frontliners. I think that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thanks, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, uh, Mr. Chairman, so hopefully uh, uh, through this conference, we will share and we learn from each other and we can do more and uh, together uh, in, in uh, fighting this uh, uh, COVID-19 virus. Thank you very much. Definitely, bro. definitely. That's our 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 aims. Yeah. Okay. The next is from the University of Malaysia, please. Okay. Two minutes. Thank you. Thing still mute, eh? In the city of Malaysia, is there any representative? Is he probably okay, doctor? No, no, it's me, Azli. Oh, Azli, Ali, come on, man. Yes. Okay. Two can you, can can you hear my voice? Of course. Yes, yes. Sure. Okay. Good. Excellent. So, can I start now? Please, please. Yes, okay. we need. thank you. All right. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'll start again, actually. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And good afternoon. First of all, I would like to say welcome to all the committee members in our meeting today. I can see uh, from the previous presentation, everyone is eager to share their part. Really interesting and excellent. So uh, the International Teleconference on Technology and Policy for Supporting Implementation of COVID-19 Recovery Plan in Southeast Asia, that is a very long name, so I should use ITTP COVID-19 only, is one of the platform for researcher, practitioner, and academicians to share their knowledge and experience in order to support the Asian Comprehensive Recovery Framework. So for this upcoming event, UTM or University Technology Malaysia has been chosen to lead the Engineering, Technology, and Natural Sciences of Scientific Committees Group. I am honored to accept the appointment of the head for the Scientific Committee Group. And my name is Azli Yahya. I'm from School of Biomedical Engineering and Health Sciences, Faculty of Engineering, UTM. So today we have gathered a member from Asian University, from Brunei, from Indonesia, from Myanmar, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, of course, from Malaysia. So from Malaysia, we have UKM, UM, UPM, USM, as well as UTM. So till now, we have a total numbers of 44 members from Malaysia only. So as you can see from the slide, those are the members uh, with uh, various expertise, such as uh, Dr. Zul Hilmi, Dr. Associate Professor Dr. Hayati Norhayi Zakwan, Professor Dr. Kaha, myself, uh, Dr. Saiful Izwan, Dr. Wong, Dr. Siti Aisha, Dr. Rania, and so forth. And actually many more to mention. Uh, in fact, some of the state researchers managed to obtain grants specific to COVID-19. For example, Um, from Dr. Associate Professor Dr. Nor Hayati Zakwan, uh, from the category of social science, she managed to get uh, the grant for the research topic, the integration of pandemic COVID-19 
as new motive and the impact on sustainable supply chain management in Malaysian manufacturing industry uh, from mechanical engineering, uh, Prof. Dr. Kaha, uh, modeling of proper ventilation. Um, we have uh, COVID-19 isolation area. Uh, Dr. Saiful on the biomaterial from the category of biomedical engineering. The title is Electrospun Nanofibro for Virus Deactivation and Alteration. Uh, we have Dr. Wong from Biomedical Engineering. Aerosol box to reduce viral infection. And we have Dr. Siti Aisha uh, from Health Sciences, the development of Express Kit for COVID-19 detection. So frankly speaking, it is quite a big number of committee to spearhead the ITTP COVID-19. So it was brought to my attention that the scientific committee members' interests have fallen into category of engineering, technology, as well as natural, natural sciences. For that, I do believe that we can collaborate and contribute our expertise towards the benefits of mankind. So it is expected for this scientific committee group to anticipate directly based on the roles and responsibility as mentioned earlier in the appointment letter. Perhaps from engineering background, we can venture into the control system, robotic, machine learning, computing, big data, and etc. Actually, I don't want to take much time on the introduction today. I will call for a meeting soon within our committee to discuss further on the way forward of the conference. Therefore, I was hoping our cooperation within this com scientific committee will support the ITTP's COVID-19 successfully. Okay, thank you. That's all from me. Back to you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, my friend, Dr. Prof. Hazli. All right. Okay, the next is uh, from the uh, University of Mandalay. Yes. Can, can you hear me? Yes, yes. I am. Yes, Prof. Key. Carry on, Prof. Key. Two minutes. Chao Da Ke Didem from Mandalay University. And on behalf of the University of Mandalay, now that they went, Ragda assigned to me to participate in this meeting. And uh, as the, I, I will be the re responsible person as the member of the steering committee of this meeting. And now we, we are not set a scientific committee, not yet, uh, late for, sorry. But I will attend the representative of the scientific committee, Prof. Daudanyu Nyu, and professor in geology, uh, so, uh, sorry, geography department in our university. Uh, so she, she will continue to this. Uh, please. Please, Dr. Nyu-Nyu. Dr. Nyu-Nyu is also present. Maybe be still mute. Dauda Nyunyu. Professor Dauda Nyunyu is a So, so uh, she is not in the, uh, I, sorry, I was sent a uh, scientific committee and Last day of the which time, and I will send an email in the last day of the scientific committee. Uh, Maybe she have a technical problem or what? Uh, so, uh, currently, University of Monday is started online teaching of master and uh, doctoral program. So, and also 
our department is a uh, also our department is a uh, hand sanitizer and trolley by using the telephone software and for this COVID pandemic are uh, embedded. Uh, thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, Prof K. All right. Uh, maybe after this, uh, we can share a letter on the what actually the University of Mandalay can offer and so on. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Prof K. Uh, next is actually yeah. the representative from University of Yangon. Uh, hello. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen from the UN. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Hello. Yes. Yes, Prof. Carry on, Prof. Yeah, yes. I'm from, yeah, very nice to see you all here. Uh, as I'm graduated from University of Science Malaysia now, I'm very glad to see you all from ASEAN member and from USM also. Yeah, oh, the, the, now I'd like to uh, present about our university and our uh, committee member. Uh, actually, our university was established on 1st December 1920, and now we have just finished celebrating our centennial uh, activities. Uh, we have 21 academic departments, including third arts department and eight science departments. Uh, uh, regarding to COVID-19 activities, um, actually our university is participating in Myanmar uh, COVID-19 uh, national response and recovery plan for the higher education sector. And some of our students are collaborating uh, to conduct a project uh, to, uh, to prepare eco-friendly hand sanitizer for the uh, donation of COVID-19 quarantine centers and also uh, retreatment centers. Uh, those are some uh, activities. Uh, for the research, uh, as uh, I am from uh, Department of Physics, uh, we have one microcontroller left and they are conducting research uh, to assemble some control devices for COVID-19 healthcare system. Now we are expecting to conduct research uh, for COVID-19 post-recovery uh, about the effectiveness of e-learning and also uh, the planning to conduct some research on renewable energy and environmental impact. Uh, I would like to show you uh, that this is our committee member. I myself, uh, Dr. E. Tant, and my background is physics. I am conducting research on fundamental materials and also some research on renewable energy setup. And my colleague, Dauta Zinwemi, uh, she is uh, from geography department and uh, she is conducting research on tourism, geography and urban geography. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thanks Prof. Okay. Uh, the next is from Etinio D. Manila University. Uh, sorry, uh, Prof. It's another one. Young oh, University of yeah. Economic. Yeah. Oh. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, the uh, from the Yangon University of Economy. Yes. Yes, from. Good afternoon. Yeah. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So, on behalf of our university, Yangon University of Economics, I would like to say thank you very much for inviting us ITDP COVID nineteen oh, scientific conversation. And also, we are very glad to have us as part of ITTB COVID-19 committee. Please unmute, Prof. Please unmute your mic. Yes. Okay. Uh, Yangon University of Economics is one of the leading universities in Myanmar. It was previously established as the Department of Economics in 1924 under the Yangon University. In 1964, our university was founded separately as a professional university. Since then, our university stands as a professional university in Myanmar. At present, COVID-19 is a pandemic every country face. So our university are very glad to participate in this occasion. Uh, the scientific committee member from our university, Yangon University of Economics, 
include professors from every department, uh, namely economics department, applied economics department, department of commerce, department of management study, statistics department and applied statistics department in our university. So we can say that our university can try the best for providing a platform to highlight research developments, reviewing policy and exchange experiences that can provide support to the implementation of ASEAN Comprehensive Recovery of Framework. Uh, I would like to share the slide for the fees of our interests of our members. Uh, we have nine members from our university, as I uh, show in this slide. See. We are now still discussing about our research concerning COVID-19 related research. After discussing, we will inform you. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Okay, thank you, Prof. You want to present your slide or what? Uh, I think already done. Already done. Okay, thank you, Prof. Already done. So sorry for that. Okay. All right. For the next, uh, actually from the Etino di Manila University. Please. Professor Rothman, thank you very much. Can I have my slides, please? Thank you. Thank you, Prof. Thank you. Yes. I am Senon Alfonso. I'd like to, it is my pleasure and, uh, and the honor to present the seven members of the scientific committee from the Ateneo de Manila University in the Philippines. First is Professor Dr. Fabian M. Dairit, and across their names are fields of interest and also our professional fields. No? And then second, Professor Dr. Elvira P. de Lara Tuprio in mathematics. And then Professor Dr. Manuel M. Dairit, who is also a physician and who is the or who is the former Secretary of Health or the Department of Health of the Philippines. Next is Professor Dr. Maria Lucy Carubin, a psychiatrist by profession. Next is Associate Professor Dr. Lourdes Bernadette Tachanko, who is actually a pediatrician who subspecialized in developmental medicine. Number six is Professor Dr. Maria Regina Justina E. Estuar, who is an expert in information systems and computer science. And I'm the last in the team. And uh, due to a constraint of time and space, this is just but in as, uh, some themes as appetizers in the researches being done in the university. This does not justify the number the depth and scope of the researches that have been completed, ongoing, and are still in planning stage. The COVID-19 vaccine's acceptability among Filipinos, health leadership in crisis during the pandemic, national vaccination roadmap and prioritization plan. And there are a number of surrogate studies or researches being done, such as VCO and management of severe and critical COVID cases, Philippine medicinal plants as supportive management for COVID cases. In engineering, there are so many, but I just picked out two, the mathem mathematical modeling of a disease surveillance app called the FASTER and data analytics. This is a group of uh, young scientists who are aging, uh, aiding rather, the National, a national uh, authority called the Interagency Task Force for Emerging Infectious Diseases in the Philippines. There are so many researchers ongoing health sciences, and I could only mention a few given the time constraint. Online mental health services, these are thematic. These are merely themes. There are so many researchers undergoing under such themes. COVID-19 vaccine effectiveness among Filipinos and medical education during the pandemic, which is also my favorite subject matter. Thank you very much, Professor Otman. Okay, thanks, Prosino. Okay, it's very interesting. This is area. Okay, Ned is uh, from University of Philippines. 
Oke, okay, Prof mau? Hai hey, Prof. Is there any representative from University of the Philippines? Hello, Dr. Osman. I think we can skip first and then okay. going to the next presenter. Okay, good. All right, we skip and then we go for the next uh, no? uh, presentation from Nangyang Technology Kapo. Yeah, please. Hello, good evening. Uh, it's really a pleasure to be invited to share and also to hear all the exciting projects uh, uh, around going on in the region, the de developments. Um, I'm the sole uh, representative in the, in the scientific committee from the Nanyang Technological University. My name is Eric Yap. I'm a medical doctor by training, but uh, doing full-time molecular and genomic research now. Um, Nanyang Technological University, NTU, is actually known for its engineering uh, expertise. Um, it's a relatively young university, and um, but the strength is not just in, in technology and engineering. Um, the medical school, the science college, as well as the humanities are relatively new additions. And so the research in COVID actually spans quite a wide range of uh, areas. Um, I think the areas, uh, many have been described in the, in the last uh, two hours. Um, I just perhaps um, just want to mention um, that perhaps the strongest area is in diagnostics, detection and surveillance. So a, a range of uh, technologies, uh, some of them perhaps not in time for this COVID, uh, but but arguably they will be useful for the next pandemic or disease X, whenever that may be. Um, we do have a contribution to the national effort and that's been actually to set up a pandemic response lab. And so the RT-PCRs for COVID actually, uh, there were new COVID assays developed in NTU uh, that we have uh, fielded in a uh, uh, licensed lab. So that's actually an operational lab. Uh, there's work that's being done in the materials area as well as in uh, structural biology and um, a, a variety of uh, research topics. Um, and in the area of uh, pathogenesis and host immunity too, uh, that's, that's a, a quite a keen area of uh, basic research. Uh, there are other areas which uh, our colleagues in the social and uh, um, sciences are working on. And, uh, uh, particularly with regard to social media and information and especially now with the vaccine uptake issues. And finally, the, in, in modeling, computer science and AI, uh, we've got some um, areas of work there. But uh, I'm sure this, this uh, slide will be shared and I hope uh, to be able to view the other slides as well. So really glad to be able to uh, share uh, a vignette of our work here in NTU. If I may, I'm, uh, I know my colleague from uh, NUS, National University of Singapore, has just stepped out. So um, maybe I'll just mention his, him, if I, I may. Uh, Professor Dr. Su Li Yang um, represents NUS. He is a clinician and inf um, infectious disease clinician um, by training. And uh, he too, rep he will be, uh, he's a sole representative of NUS. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Prof. Eric. Thank you so much. Okay, maybe next is Prof. Uh, from uh, University, National University of Singapore. Uh, 
done already. Yeah, or not? Oh, done already. All right. Okay. All right. I think the the last one, the last one least, is from Prince of Songkla University. Uh, my name is Virasak Chong Soe Wat Wong. I'm epidemiologist. I work with uh, four university in Indonesia doing purpose, proposal development. Yes, Prof. Nursing. Can you hear me? Related to nursing and public health in Usu, uh, Andaras. Yes, yes, Prof. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, within the country. Yes, Prof. Get uh, Prof. You are saying something? Yes, you can continue, bro. Okay. Within the country, I'm, I'm the consultant to the Ministry of, Minister of uh, Public Health in this COVID mission. Now we are focusing on the controls of the, uh, the workers' uh, cluster in the coastal area, system, similar to what Malaysia and Singapore is facing. And uh, the other off topic that we are focusing is on the vaccine uh, distribution and vaccine modeling because we want to see how it's going. Uh, we have been receiving a number of uh, research grants from uh, different agencies in Thailand. And, and uh, it's, uh, but the research question has to be changed from time to time because of the the uh, the situation is changing right now. It's now the area of vaccination. So we, I personally want to exchange with uh, people in your country related to this vaccine development, uh, vaccine distribution uh, in this year. And what we can see is, we can see whether vaccine can be the solution for our ASEAN country. That's all, thank you. Uh, Dr. Osman, you are still mute. Okay, sorry, sorry, Prof. Okay, thank you, Prof. Okay, very sharp two minutes there. Okay, now we have finished uh, on the agenda of the introduction of the scientific committees. We next go to the announcement of scientific committee chairs. Uh, okay, first for the health science which is the, for the scientific chess, uh, committee chess is uh, Professor Dr. Budi Haryanto from Universitas Indonesia. Okay. And for the second sector, which is uh, social science, the scientific committee chess will be uh, announced uh, soon because uh, now uh, I think the committee still are looking the, the, the right candidate and so on. And the uh, third one, actually the uh, engineering and natural science, uh, scientific committee chairs uh, is goes to Associate Professor IR Dr. Azli, Azli Yahya from UC Technology Malaysia. All right, this actually the three uh, scientific committee chairs. Okay, the next, uh, what uh, is there any? Oh, that's it, finish, Prof. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, I think uh, this uh, he thinks that the discussion is very interesting indeed. And uh, I think that there are so many uh, items we have to discuss and agreed, which is uh, we discuss uh, about the, you know, the sectors, the different research area, how we can collaborate together after this. I strongly believe that ITTP, uh, the COVID-19 can, can be as an important platform for us to collaborate between all the universities in Asia. And uh, of course, there are time frames there, yeah, Provico, for yeah. us to uh, to 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 fill in the whatever that we already uh, you know uh, plan the program, the activities together. Uh, I think before we end, I think uh, Prof, you want to say something, Provico? Okay. Yes. Okay, Doctor Osman. Maybe just. Uh, yeah. Okay. Before can. I pass it to. Okay. So yeah, uh, everyone. Okay, professors and doctors and all the honorary guests. Okay, uh, I would like to yes, thank for all, yeah, 
I would like to thank okay for all of you that okay able to attend okay in this meeting. It's okay like 10 minutes uh, beyond our uh, plan, but should be uh, alright. Uh, yeah. Um, for the next step, basically, okay, uh, we will communicate through website and also through the mobile apps. Okay, that we will inform you soon. And then, okay, we hope also we do hope that okay, steering uh, the scientific committee will active according to the group. Yeah. Uh, we will have okay three group as we mentioned okay um, the group for the uh, public the health and then group for the social and group for the engineering so uh, the group leader will call for the meeting yeah um, okay uh, it's up to them okay to manage and then up to you all okay to collaborate uh, together so yeah I think okay that's all from me okay the next we will okay inform you time to time hopefully um, yeah we able to contribute something that's good for uh, our okay countries I mean us in Southeast Asia country okay thank you very much and then I will give back okay to the okay um, uh, chief of ceremony okay Zalika back to you Zalika thank you thanks everyone okay. Okay, thank you everyone. So now we are already at the end of our meeting session. And infinity thank you to all of the representatives from all the universities for the fruitful, um, informative, um, as well as very interesting sharing for today. So, and super thank you to our meeting chairman too, Dr. Othman for today. Uh, so before we end our session, I would like to invite uh, all of you to turn on the camera for the photo session. Okay. Yeah. Protection, please. Important, okay. very important, right? Let's turn on the camera. Okay. Everyone, someone now? I think we need to have okay few time photo session because the display is not enough. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, A lot of people. Okay. So we will take the photo. Jalika will manage. <laughs> Hello, Jalika. Okay, uh, yes, yes. Okay, you can manage here. Yeah? Okay, please. You count. Okay, oh, so there are four. So, so maybe we, we, we are going to take four times. Okay, for the first one. Okay, wait, wait a minute. Okay, yeah. okay, ready? One, two, three, smile. All right, the next one. Okay, ready? One, two, three, smile. Another one. Okay, ready? One, two, three, smile. All right, the last one. Okay, okay, one, two, three. All right. All right, so, well, ladies and gentlemen, that photo session wraps up our ITTP COVID-19 first scientific committee meeting for today. So it has been our pleasure to host this event and I wish all of you had a pleasant day. Have a great day ahead and wherever you are, please stay safe. Thank you once again for your time. And hope to see you again in future. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And goodbye. Assalamualaikum salam. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Hope to see you again. Okay. Soon. See you. Okay. See you. Yeah. yeah. See you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.